Okay. People who watch the live stuff should know that the audio stuff is available for download. What's up, Vine? Not much. How's it going? I'm all right. I don't understand. Like this guy that you met, he just he's does he play with the dead bodies or is he hired to actually do stuff with dead people? <laughs> he helped bury them. Okay, so he got him ready to go in the hole. Yeah, pretty much. He's a funeral director, so he like obviously directs you know dead bodies to dance around, and I'm assuming that's what. He does. I guess I just don't understand how that's a choice in life. Like I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to get these bodies all ready to present. Who wants yeah, to do that? Yeah. Um, I was wondering the same thing, but he said that you know he actually oh, had to go to university to go to, you know, this is super to be a funeral director. He had to get a funeral time. director Look degree. Away. That's weird, man. I don't understand. And, like, <laughs> yeah, no. He, he get this. So he, he, he's a, he has to go to university to get a funeral director de degree. And the only reason why other people were in the same field as him is A, they're in a family business, or B, they had this like, you know, epiphany of some kind and realized that, you know, after their grandmother dying, they felt so connected to death that they wanted to do this. Oh, that's and bizarre. So I was like, oh. Yeah, so I was like, okay, so which category do you fall into? And he's like, it's a family business. So I'm like, okay. okay. I guess that's a bit better than like falling in love with your dead grandma. So. I understand. I guess I understand that. It's like, you know, daddy was a funeral director and we're known as that in town. You know what I mean? Yeah. But there's yeah. got to be like a subsect of individuals who say, like, today, I, I just, I want to embalm a guy. You know, <laughs> they've got to be out there, right? I'm sure there is. I mean, actually, um, a friend of mine, he was at a convention and he ran into this artist, right? And this artist is known for drawing very detailed, morbid um, comics, right? And so he asked him, like, how do I... Uh, or he, like, went up to him to, you know, converse with him like normal people do. And the guy says, you know, if you really want to be a great artist, um, you should join... You should get a job at the morgue. Mm -hmm. And my friend goes, okay, why would I ever want to do such a thing? And he's like, because when they're dead, you can draw them <laughs> and experiment the, on them. And especially because they come in, they come into the, the, the morgue in varying, like, different states of decay. Oh, my God. Ew. Wait a minute. So, so you can draw them in different states of decay. You can draw, like, the fat and everything being kind of, like, exposed you can draw them when, you know, they're, they're in, fl you know, what is it? Rigor mortis has set in. You can draw them when... Well, this is going back. This is like the old, like, this is the Da Vinci type stuff, right? Where Da Vinci wrote, like he drew uh, a lot of uh, stuff that's still used in medical books based on cadavers, right? Oh, yeah. God, that's bizarre. So, I mean, I guess if you really, I guess the moral of this story is that if you really want to be good at anything, go to the dead. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Wow, weird. So, that is yeah. so weird. But he's the coolest, most upbeat guy you could ever meet, I swear. Like, he has such a great sense of humor, obviously. I mean, if you see so many dead bodies after a while, you just kind of, like, don't take it so seriously. But Well, I... Um, I'm guessing, yeah, you kind of get used to it, right? You, you're like, dude... No, yeah, I, I mean, one of the things I asked him was, like, all right, so how does death affect you? And he's like, it doesn't really affect me, you know? Like, I used to go, you know, I used to be a CIA kind of guy, so I'd go out to the crime scenes to investigate, and, you know, they'd be, like, burned, charred bodies in the vehicle. He's like, I'm kind of hungry for a burger. Anybody want some, you know? That's, so. That's so, I don't know, man. Like, I knew a girl in high school, and uh, she wanted to become a mortician. And okay. I think yeah, it, I never get that. And it was just, it was sort of, you know, she wanted to do it, but then when she got an opportunity to go and, I don't know if it's like, you know, you know, bring your daughter to work day or something, or how, what's that when they call you, when you get to have somebody come in and, and hang out an intern? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So she went yeah. to that and then she saw a guy that looked like somebody that she knew and she said, I can't do this. Wow. So Chicken. I don't know. Well, I'm guessing that's a thing. Why don't, why don't we check the, uh, why don't we check the mail here? You got some mail. You've got mail. Wow, that's classy. I know. I got an email here from Florida. It says, my hair has grown long and I've learned to wax fat and kick. Uh, I'm no longer constipated and uh, I've got songs in my head. Beautiful, nice songs that I want to sing. That's well, kind of a nice letter. 
Let's 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 touch on the constipated part. Why aren't you constipated? I mean, that's kind of a messed up thing, don't you think? You I should, should probably, always be constipated. I should probably reply, right? I mean, this is a handwritten letter that came in the mail mail. It's really oh, nice. handwritten. So it's a personal touch kind of guy. Yeah, like now when I do my mail segment, I read mail, like actual mail. It's pretty cool. Like, um, wow. Yeah. When was the last time you... Who you said <laughs> mail nowadays? Isn't that a bit old fashioned? Like, wow. I think I it's... Have mail. I think it's super funky. Yeah, do you save the post, uh, what, what are the post stamps? I got, well, no, but I got the whole envelope. I got a whole drawer here. Like, a, literally well, a drawer full of mail. save the post stamps for me because my mother likes to collect them and, you know, she hates the thought of postcard, post oh. stamps being oh, really? wasted. Okay, so. well, I'll save them for you. I'll do that. Yeah, save them for me and when I come back, it'll be like Christmas. Okay. We should talk about letters. Let's take a break. Okay. Ta-da. Okay, that was good. Thank you. Lovely. It's a weird show hour. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I'm gonna roll another segment here. You know, this is the show, right? You understand this is the show. <laughs> yeah, I know this is the show. I figured because the music was playing, and you know, but I'm acting normal. I'm talking about dead people. <laughs> yeah. You're you're a chick. I would hope so. Yes. And when last you, time I checked. Well, you think about you think about letters and stuff, and it was yesterday. I mean, it's kind of romantic, right? If somebody writes you a letter, isn't it? Yeah, it's very romantic. I used to have a guy that um, used to write me letters all the way from the UK. Okay, so and, and when you got them, how did you feel? Like, did they smell like him? Did you touch them? Did you look at them and think, man, this is really... That, it smelled like the post office, so no. But <laughs> he did send me some underwear, so that was kind of funny. Ooh, I don't understand. Like... <laughs> I was mm. like, hey, okay. But that's, that's, a, that's a man, though. It was um, kind of a dare, though. Okay. So, I, but the thing is, I wasn't really thinking you'd go go through it, but he sent me underwear, and then, like, think the second thing that he sent me was, like, a leather bra bikini set combo. Okay, so that's kind of sexy, but the underwear is not, <laughs> right? Did he send, like, his underwear? Yeah, it was his underwear. That's, isn't man's underwear just kind of gross, no matter what it is? <laughs> but, I mean, like, he was all the way out in the UK. It was, like, the best thing I got, you know? I don't know, man. I just, I can see a scented letter. Like, if you, if he wears a certain kind of cologne... And he writes you a little letter and he spritzes it and he sends it to you. That's fine, but I mean, you're gitch or you're gaunch. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, it was pretty a rad though. I got underwear for in mail. I mean, when's the last time you opened up a mail like a letter and had underwear falling out of it? I mean, come on, I'm gonna that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go out and say never. That's a, that's a never for me. <laughs> okay. Well, see, this is why you need to send people. Your <laughs> I could, you know what? I think maybe this should be the approach. You know, I've got that new girlfriend in Asia. Oh yeah, how do how do you even classify that as a new girlfriend? Like, how do you decide? Okay, so I have a girlfriend now from Asia that I've never met. She's a woman on the internet who talks to me. <laughs> well, okay, that's pretty that's pretty fantastic. So that's a girlfriend, right? That's that's it. Yeah. I would call that like an admirer more so than a girlfriend because if you have a girlfriend, the the general consensus is that you should only have one of them. Um. Well, well, there's only one girl, I think. Whereas actually... if you have an admirer, you can have like 20 and it'll be like hmm. Caesar's Palace all over again. Okay, well, why don't, we, why don't we take a break here and we'll play a couple tunes. And then when we come back, you can explain to me what a girlfriend actually is. Okay. Because I'm okay. sure I don't get it, man. Because <laughs> whatever those dead people are you're talking about, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah, that sounds like a great girlfriend. All right, Gordon, you're down. Eh? That's weird. <laughs> and... Another segment. Then we got the awkward weirdness coming up too. Guest, send your song submissions to Five Gallon Podcast at Gmail dot com. Okay, to clarify, a girl who who friended me on Facebook that I don't know on the other end of the world, mm -hmm. and uh, and sends me messages and emails and stuff and wants to Skype chat. She's just someone who likes me. It's not necessarily someone that I'm dating. Yeah. If I were to put in my Facebook status that I'm in a relationship right now. That would probably be viewed as psychotic. Uh, I wouldn't say psychotic. I would just say that you would probably lose said chick in the process. Because <laughs> you know, like if I'm just like e stalking you, and all of a sudden I you have a girlfriend, it's like oh snap. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess I should stop talking to him. And if he, and she continues talking to him, like said person, then you know you know she's freaking crazy. So. What? Okay, so it's too soon to send my underwear. It's too soon to send your underwear. All I right. think you need to at least talk to her. 
<laughs> okay, well, I think I'll do that. On Monday night, I'm going to uh, I'm going to talk to her. In, uh, okay, that's, in, that's a good step. What do they speak? Indonesian? <laughs> yeah, they sleep, speak some sort of ghetto Asian that nobody really cares about because yeah. they're Indonesian. So. I, don't, I don't know if that's going to fly either. That could be a problem. Well, yeah. Can... Um, the thing is about Indonesians is that they're kind of like the Mexicans to the U.S. in Ooh, Singapore. Really? So... Indonesians and the Filipinos are so she, Filipino. Yeah. So she'll clean my apartment, but she won't buy any of the cleaning supplies. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's a pain so. in the ass. I don't know what it is with maids. Why won't they go out and get... If I'll give you the money, go to the store and pick up the Windex. What's the problem? Because she might drink it because she doesn't know how to read English. That's really annoying. All right, well, this is 30 <laughs> seconds. Um, last week, we did 30 seconds regular show stuff. Do you want to do that? 30 seconds of regular show? What? Yeah, it's like 30 seconds, and then we pretend that we're doing a regular radio show. Okay. All right. Welcome back to the 5 Gallon Podcast. This is episode 154. My name is Corey, and I make this voice on the radio. <laughs> You're supposed to say this is Ayn. And I make this voice when I'm not on the radio. You don't have a radio so imagine voice. Imagine that. You don't have a radio voice, do you? No, I don't. I speak like a normal human being. I did a, I did a thing today. You'd really like it. It's called... Welcome to Food Ride Radio. It was great. You'd love it. That was 30 seconds. Uh, awkwardly creeping out my guest by uh, pretending that I have Kind of a... failing at it, so yeah, uh, hi. All right. Hey, good segment there. Thank you all. Bum -ba -dum -bum -bum, bum -ba -dum -bum -bum. This is the last segment. Okay, cool. Visit 5gallonsound.com. We have cookies. What would it, what would it take to, to, like, to creep you out if I wanted to try? Like... What would, it, what would I have to do? If you said I love you within like the two um, hours of meeting each other. Oh, okay. Okay, that's creepy. That's it though? That's creepy as all heck. I mean, I've gotten guys that have said I love you within like a week of getting to know him. I'm just like, God, what the hell? I like you. You're you're nice enough, but I don't think I love you. Yeah. You know, it's I like, mean... how do you even love somebody after a week, you know? It's like, you know, you kind of get that... Fe Sometimes you get like the love at first sight, but... You'd be an idiot to say it in, within a week without, you know, at least getting some feedback back. Yeah, it's know? not going to work. I don't think I was giving him any feedback. But have you, you've, you've probably met a guy though where you, you step back and you go, I think I love this guy. And that's within like a very short period of time. That is within a very short time. But I think like when I said it, it was like we were already going out for about three months. So, I mean, it was short, but we both felt the same way. And we both were... Uh, I mean, we both tried to go out of our way to see each other, you know? That was something really, really special. But this guy, I mean, just like, I don't even know you. The fuck? I just feel like if, if I were dating a guy, which I'm not because I'm not gay, <laughs> but if I were a girl and I was but dating a guy. you should try it. I might, you know? I just did a show last week, and I think we came to the conclusion that I'm gay. So I, oh, might, okay. I might just go for it. I'm not surprised. It. It's okay to come out, you know? Well, it's just I don't really, I'm not into the guy sexually. That's the thing. And I don't really want to be in a relationship with a man either. So, uh, those are two kind of barriers. Would be top or bottom? Was this already covered? No, it wasn't really. That's interesting. I, think I would see you... I don't know. I would see you top. Really? You think I'm running yeah. the show? <laughs> yeah. Because you're like... I don't know. I can see you like force feeding somebody <laughs> to eat a pillow. Oh, man. You know? <laughs> this show is brought to you in part by emusic.com. For all your independent music needs, FreshBooks.com. And don't forget, guys, if you are like me and you need domain names, go over to Hover.com and use the promo code VACAYGIVEAWAY. That's it. That's the promo. I have to do that. Okay. A top. Yeah, maybe. I think I could be... Does that mean... How does that work, though? Don't you have to... Like, which direction is, is he looking at you? Is he facing you? No, he's biting the pillow. Like I said, <laughs> oh, pillow he, biter. You got him flipped over and then you're, you know. Yeah. Uh, no diagram required here. I think I just figured it out. Wow. Yeah, that's exactly the thought in my head. You're like force feeding the dude to eat <laughs> fucking feathers, you know? <laughs> that could be, man. <laughs> wow. It's like the inner aggression. Like, I hate life here. Take it. <laughs> you know, because normally I'm so passive. I know. That's the the thing is, it's like you flip it, you know. Like, who who ever heard of like freaking good library chicks? Nobody. Yeah, that's true. Wow, good point. Well, we should discuss this further on Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. While we are making a bonfire, right? You got it, man. It's gonna happen. And while you're riding into the sunset. I love it all. I love it all. Okay, I'll see you on Tuesday, dude. 
Okay. I appreciate you. No problem. I appreciate you. Have a great interview tonight. Yeah, no problem. Um, thanks. Uh, is that the end of the show? Mm-hmm. Like, I think we ended like a minute ago, right? Yeah, and this is the way it kind of works, like you and I, is that uh, you, you wonder, are we done? And we are. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. Well, that was really quick. Yeah, I, again, you're, you're getting to know me very well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude, I can't wait. To, I'll see you on Tuesday. It'll be really cool. Yeah, I already have the tickets, by the way. I have uh, Tuesday and uh, Wednesday night tickets. Oh, cool. What time are you coming in then? Tuesday morning? Uh, 7 o'clock is when I leave here, so probably around like 9-ish. Ooh, in the a.m. Yeah. That's awesome. I got You know, I'm doing radio. I'm doing work here in, during the day, but only till 2, so. That's fine. I'll chill out at the pool, you know, do my thing. Okay, and we'll get silly drunk. Let's get really drunk. Yeah, um, just so you know, I am a bit of a broke kid because I have to renew my soda on Thursday, and pretty much all of my money is going to that. Dude, so, it's all, I'm going to take care of you. Don't worry. Cool. You're, Just you're, so you know, I don't want to like get there and go, by the way, mm -mm, mm -mm. how's it going? <laughs> Dude, I totally know. Remember when Woody comes out here? I always pretend I don't have money. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> pretend. Okay. Yeah. I got you take I got you covered. Don't worry. <laughs> cool, cool. So yeah, I can't wait. I'll see you on Tuesday. Okay, much love. All right. Bye. Bye. Right. Thanks, guys, for watching the live stuff. Weird. Uh, we just tape this, and then you guys download the podcast. So the live is just for the voyeurs, right? Strange.